apparently I'm crazy because I'm going to walk out in the snow here to the mail because I have a package that I don't know what I ordered. So as you can see, it's the first, I guess, first full day of spring. And this is what we're dealing with in New Jersey. Hi everyone, how are you doing today? It is Wednesday, March 21st, 2018, and it's now spring. And if you saw my intro, it doesn't look like spring. What's going on? Anyways, so if you saw my intro, which you would have if you made it this far, you can see I'm home today from work. Now, I would have been home by now anyways because it's four o'clock. Because I've been busy all day. And not with what you think I've been would have been busy because most of you probably think I would have been stitching all day and I wasn't. I only stitched for about two hours so far today. We'll get into all of that. So I hope you are all doing wonderful. I want to thank you all for subscribing if you are a subscriber. If you are a continued subscriber for over a long time, thank you. If you are new to my channel, thank you for finding me and coming and checking me out and continuing to come or for the first time, welcome. I am Gerald, if you do not know me, and I like cross stitch. That might be putting it mildly. I'm addicted to cross stitch. Anyways. So, lots to talk about today, not very much stitching to show you. As you will see, I've been very, mm, still kind of like wishy-washy with my projects lately. But, um, <clears throat> so it was a snow day today. First day of spring, snow day. I'm kind of happy about the snow day. I'm, I'm not looking forward to having to make it up in June because now we're going to like the 26th of June or something like that before we get a break. I mean, my school goes all year long because of the type of students I work with, but so it's not really that big of a deal. But it is kind of nice to get that break. Anyways, I'm getting a nice day off today. It's kind of needed. It makes my week pretty easy because Friday I get to go to a conference all day. So, but I'm ready for I'm ready for the snow to be over. Very ready for the snow to be over. Anyways, I've been getting some new visitors to my porch lately or my balcony, and let me let me double check to make sure I have a picture. If I have a picture, I think I got a picture of it, of it today. Yes, I got a picture. It's not a very good picture. I will put it in here. That is the new pigeon that keeps coming back to my balcony every once in a while. Don't know why. Don't know where it's coming from. But it just comes, sits on my on my uh, balcony for a little bit. 
and then flies away. I don't know if it's a, if it's a guardian looking over me, if it's checking in, if it's looking to make sure I'm behaving. I don't know. Maybe it's my guardian stitchy angel. I, I, I don't know. But um, yeah, that's my, uh, my new buddy. So I have my squirrel. Actually, I had three today, even though if you saw, I'll, I'll put a picture of Geo in here I put on Instagram. So last night I was, I fed him his dinner because I wasn't sure I was going to see him today because of the snow. And uh, I made sure to let Nicole know to not yell at me because Nicole made it very clear that peanuts are like junk food to squirrels. We'll get to that later. So. Anyways, so I have Geo and his buddies that fight on my balcony all the time. I have my newfound pigeon. I have two bluebirds that like to fight with the squirrels to get the nuts. And I have the occasional robin, no, not robin, cardinal. So there you go. I'm getting a whole menagerie. So, okay. So lots of snow, very little stitching done today, but I have been very busy today with designing stuff. So as you've noticed, and I will put, if you follow me on Instagram, about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago, I think it was that, I think it was that long. Yeah, I think it was about a week and a half ago. I designed a new logo for my Etsy store and for the Ginger Gerald brand. It's weird saying that because, but it is a brand. It is, you know, unique to me. So I guess it's considered a brand in the business world. Anyways, so I will put a picture of them in here. <music> gotten lots of great feedback on Instagram over them and I've already put the pictures up on or my logos up on YouTube and Etsy and if you purchase designs from me going forward you will see them on my patterns so that is my new logo so With that, I have today for most of the day, I have been working on updating some of my, my previous patterns that I already have on Etsy to incorporate my new logo, which I will be getting up onto Etsy in the next couple of days, maybe about a week, just to update those files so that going forward, they all have the new information, the new logos, and also just to get them all streamlined and looking similarly. Also, I've been working on a few projects that are possibly coming down the pipeline in the next couple months. So more of that to come in the future. Now, my question for you all and what I would like to hear from you in comments as well as Instagram uh, conversations is, is there an interest? Because right now I only offer my patterns as a digital download. Is there an interest for me to offer my patterns as a printed, mailable pattern to you so that I would print them just like many other uh, designers do, print them and mail them to you instead of having them as a digital download? Because I know not everyone is tech savvy, but I want to be able to offer my patterns to the most, to the people that you know, to anybody who is interested. Of course, if I do that, there may be a nominal fee just for printing and postage. So if you are interested in that, please let me know so that I can look into 
the options that I can come up with. I may have to talk to a few other designers to see how they do it. So I know Arlene does that, Lindy Stitches, Stephanie does that. So I may have to reach out to some people to find out, but please let me know if there is an interest. I do have some patterns that are different from what I have in already in my store. And I, I'm kind of like a whole eclectic. I'm really getting the, the designer vibe right now. So I just want to be able to make sure that my patterns are accessible to whoever is interested. So please let me know if you are interested in paper mailed patterns. So eight and a half minutes in from me talking, let's get into my project. So the only project that I've stitched on that I can show you, because I did work on my mystery project that I can't show you right now that I will show you in the future date and time. I worked on that all day Sunday, which because it's my Sunday stitch, but I also worked on it on Monday because I didn't have a whole lot of time on Sunday to stitch because I went into Philadelphia Sunday afternoon. So Monday I focused on my mystery stitch and then Tuesday I pulled back out my snowy owl. So this is my Riolis kit I purchased at Hobby Lobby. It is being stitched on, I'm, do, I'm using everything right from the kit. It's 14 count Ada and it's like the, I, is it called? What is it called? Is it, it's, you know, the, the model brownie color and ex, please excuse the sniffling. Even though it doesn't look like spring out, it's almost like I have spring allergies. So this is 14 count Ada, which I do not mind stitching on Ada. That is the owl using the cold for the, the provided. And here again, it is the provided, where is it at in English? Woolen, can't even read backwards, woolen and acrylic yarn. So woolen and acrylic yarns, still, I'm not sure if I like them or not, but here we go. So I almost have the entire head done. I have everything done on the head except for the, the white around the eye and then down through here. So that's all one color that I have to fill in and then all of the head is done. This is the, the very top of the head. So that's the very top of the project right there in the center. And then I'm gonna work down on the, the body. And funny, funny, funnily, don't think that's a word, funnily. The one color that I used for the eye, I think it's, uh, yeah, I think it's this one, eight, number eight. It's this color, it's the, like the golden, golden rod. It's the scent, it's part of the eyeball. That's the only place in the entire pattern that that color exists. Yet they give you all of this for two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25 stitches. I could do like an entire small with that much yarn. So definitely not going to go to waste, even though I'm not thrilled with this yarn. I love the colors, so definitely gonna utilize that. Loving, I mean, it's a totally it's a totally different feel for the way it stitches up. And it's it's a great looking texture. It's just it's so hard to get used to stitching with it because it frays so easily. You have to use a much shorter length, which I'm not used to using. I use long lengths. And it's just, it's odd to use. I know I'm not complaining. 
I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm enjoying the experience. But again, this is stitching up so quickly. And surprisingly, even though looking at the picture, it looks a lot, it's in real life, it's a lot bigger than what it, I thought it was gonna look like in the picture. So while this is a small project for me, it's still decent size. So very, very much enjoying this. Again, this is my needle minder that I got as a gift from Yvonne, the Night Owl Stitcher. Go check her out. She got that, she got that from Down Sunshine Lane. Again, in my favorite colors. So anyways, that is my project and I'm storing that in my Mama Joan bag that I showed last week. So there you go. I'm going to keep everything nice and organized. Okay, so now we move on to purchases. And the only purchase I have is one that I bought last night in the midst of the snowstorm. I was at Target last night and I was just browsing around because, you know, that's what you do in the middle of the snowstorm is browse around the Target. And I don't know if I was channeling Priscilla and Chelsea or if, I don't know. But anyways, in, in the, the decoration section, like where you buy the gift wrap right by the, the cards of Target, they had a clearance end rack. And on that clearance end rack, they had a pack of wooden banner uh, pieces. And it came with the, the twine and the wooden banners. Now, I have no idea what I'm gonna use this for. I don't stitch smalls typically. But I thought for the price, it's something kind of cool. I like the fact that the holes are already drilled out for me. Would I use these for an actual banner? Probably not. But that doesn't mean that I couldn't use these for ornaments. That doesn't mean that I couldn't use them for some kind of display where I set them on a plate holder and set them on a table and mount something on them. So I don't know, I have them now. Is this gonna become a normal type purchase? No, but you never know. Especially now that the designing vibe has hit. You never know what that might be useful for. And so that's the only purchase I've had all week. Thank goodness, because I've been spending way too much lately. But, now, at the beginning of my video, you saw I had I got a notification in my email that I received a package today. In the midst of Winter Storm Toby, I received a package. I didn't order anything. So I'm like, what is this? So of course, I had to trek out to the mailbox. So I recorded that, that walk out to the mailbox for you. And then the walk back. So I get back to the the house and I open up the package and now we're going to get back to Nicole Buckeye Stitcher. So if you watch Nicole the Buckeye Stitcher and if you're not you should go check her out because she she stitches some awesome stuff and she's an awesome lady. She is a vet and on my last video when my Stitch With Me video, I show Gio eating his brunch. And she had mentioned how peanuts are not a necessarily healthy option for squirrels because I guess they're like junk food. Maybe because they're high in fat? I, I don't know. She said she read about the fact that the peanuts are high in junk food. Well, Surprisingly, Geo doesn't actually sit there and eat every single nut that he that I give him. He goes down and buries most of them in the ground and then comes back and eats like the last quarter or handful. So we we determined that 
it's actually probably not that bad if I give him a handful every day because since he is going and burying them every day and I and the, the shells are actually good for him because they're good for his teeth by what I understand. But also, I like the shells, be, uh, giving him the peanuts with shells because then he can bury them and then the actual nut. I know this is just, th this is the human in me. The, the nut is protected from the ground and the moisture and all that, you know. Well, anyway, she sent me, she ordered for Geo, not for me, for Geo. Premium Nut Mix. It's a recommended diet for Richardson's ground squirrels, flying squirrels, gray squirrels, and chipmunks. So thank you, Nicole. Geo thanks you, even though he doesn't know about this yet. This is going to be a special treat for him on the weekends. So he will get a special treat, you know, a handful once a Sunday or some, on Sundays. And so this includes walnuts, pecans, pistachios, and almonds. So thank you again, Nicole. You are very kind and what a great surprise. So that is everything I got in the mail or purchases. And lastly, my plans for the week. Since the designing bug has hit me, I do not know how much stitching I'm going to get done this week. I'm going to continue working on the owl for a while. I don't know if I'm going to work on it all week just because I might move on for a little bit. I am traveling next weekend for Easter. So the end of next week for Easter. So before that, I will probably pull out London to work on that for a bit and then whenever I return from Easter I have a week off for spring break and I'm hoping to get a good chunk done on Henry. I'm hoping maybe even a page during that week for Henry. It's a lot of confetti. I know that's a tall order but knock on wood, fingers crossed, I might have a good chance of getting at least one page done. So that is my long-term plans. Of course, everything is bound to change. And that's what I like about cross-stitch because I don't necessarily make plans and I'm allowed to do what I want to do. So with that being said, thank you for all of your likes, subscribes, comments, all of your positive vibes on here as well as Instagram and our Facebook group, Off the Grid Needle, Off the Grid Friday. I always get this wrong. What is the group name? Off the Grid. Oh, it's Friday Off the Grid. So all the positive vibes on Friday Off the Grid. It's a great group. If you aren't a, a member of that yet, go check it out. And I will see you next time. Enjoy every stitch.